Why did I get into blogging? I will give you the answer. I tried many things. I, I am a blogger and I used to do photography 30 years ago. I stopped all that to do some research in economics and uh, anti hacking software. And now I come back to blogging. It's one big circle from blogging to blogging. And I, got, I, was, I was using it. I was using a Nikon point and shoot camera P310 and it was very easy to use because it did auto focusing and all that and there was, it managed to remove a lot of the shades. Uh, then I decided okay uh, this camera this camera actually started breaking down can you imagine I had to use a ribbon uh, sorry I have to use a rubber band to hold the battery case. The battery case if the battery will fall off and it will automatically switch off the camera every time I try to lock it in because uh, I believe that this camera is made of some plastic that doesn't last long. It disintegrates slowly. Uh, this camera is about four to five years old. So now it cannot be used. I don't want to go and send it for repair every month. There was a heat sink, heat sensor inside here that broke and uh, it cost me 280 ringgit which is about uh, 70 US to repair it. The camera itself was about 1200 which is uh, just under 200 US. And if I kept it up, I would be spending a lot of money on uh, camera repairs. So I decided to go for something more professional, which is the camera that I'm using, the Sony Alpha 5100. It is amazing picture quality. And for a budget vlogger, it's wonderful. It cost me about 1400 ringgit which is about 330 US dollars which is not bad when you consider that the second hand Sony A5100 are being sold for as high as 1800 ringgit so this was a good deal and it was much better than I was expecting really I started photography when I was a student in England studying engineering and uh, I bought this Canon AE1 in 1979. It's a wonderful camera and I have taken a lot of pictures with it. It's film based, film based so we were always very careful uh, how many pictures we took and whether the pictures were good quality or exposed properly or focused well and nice shadows and appealing uh, pictures. Then I got into, uh, came back to Malaysia and started working as an electronic engineer in the semiconductor industry. So when I left, uh, stopped working for other people, I decided to go on my own and develop software. I was developing a text editor and uh, uh, I started looking other things and one day someone said why don't you do something to predict the stock market and that took me more than eight years to develop and this is my book and uh, it's the I developed the technology to predict how the stock markets work 
behave during the 1997 Asian currency crisis. I showed that uh, showed that when the set, um, so it's quite mathematical. And during the Asia financial crisis of 1998 and uh, 97 to 98 and 99, I predicted the stock market decline in September 1998, which it did uh, using this theory. But I found that nobody is interested in learning how to stop make the stock market. But I found out that very few people are really interested in how to predict the stock market. They are more interested in, hey, I have just bought this stock today, uh, when shall I sell it? They don't care about theory or analysis or intellectual property rights, that's not even... Uh, what is the word? Well, let's say people love to pirate stuff in Asia. Uh, I don't just say Malaysia because it's not just Malaysia. A lot of countries in Malaysia, people just so that's why I decided, hey, let's, and I even wrote this stock market game, which runs under DOS. And uh, so I decided that let's do something more practical. I mean, theoretical modeling is nothing that will sell in Malaysia. Nobody's interested in theoretical modeling. Advanced technologies, they are not interested. So I decided, hey, let's go and do something more practical. So I started blogging about how to make bread. I was crazy about making bread. I still am crazy about making bread. And I developed my own techniques for making bread. And uh, I had a blog that shows you how to make bread, especially for the beginners, especially for home users. Uh, you, you, uh, I see a lot of people, they buy a bread maker, put everything inside and one shot. Tomorrow wake up and the bread is ready. So it's best if you learn how to make bread. You need a bowl, you need uh, a whisk, uh, you need uh, wheat flour, bread flour, uh, yeast, water, and a bit of salt. That's it. And you, as you practice, you'll uh, feel how to make the texture, uh, whether it's correct or not. And you let it rise, you watch it rise. And then you bake in the oven, you need an oven also. Uh, many many homes in Malaysia don't have an oven, so they can't make the bread at home. And uh, I enjoyed making bread and I started explaining to people on my blog how to make bread so you can make it at home. Nothing fancy and it's compared to the commercial bread sold in Malaysia. This is really good flavor. There are no chemicals, and it's the wheat flavor that you are tasting. So after that, I decided, uh, let me put it on a blog, and I was blogging about it. I was doing cheesecake, chocolate cakes, and all that, and uh, the hackers came in, and they hacked my site. Until it completely collapsed. I was getting about 2,000 visitors, I think a month. Yeah, a month. From zero to 2,000 climb very fast. So many terrorists came and attacked my blog. They are from Moldova, Ukraine, Russia, Germany, France, USA, Canada. The Muslim terrorists and the worst were the Chinese military. They really had of my site. So I decided to spend the time developing a firewall to protect my WordPress site because I asked so many people then, it's 2011 to 2013, uh, sorry, uh, 20, about 2011, I asked many people, nobody had any idea what to do, how to protect your site. So I started developing, learning PHP and developing, testing, developing and hacking. Now my blogs are quite stable, but I ran into another problem. The, the what do you call them? 
the hosting providers those who provide hosting services for your website they try to hack my site they are internal people and uh, it's, it's, you cannot block the internal people from trying to figure out and hack your site and uh, figure out how the anti-hacking software works so I moved sites and I made a police report to the FBI for one of those sites, one of those hackers, uh, internal hackers. And uh, then I said, okay, let me go back to blogging. Uh, not blogging itself, but go and do something with photography and I spent about three, four months uh, learning from people like Peter McKinnon. Uh, how they do blogging and uh, I, I had to get a, a, a budget camera uh, my, uh, my Nikon was failing you can see it's failed, completely failed sometimes it won't focus properly and uh, so I bought the Sony Alpha 5100 it's a brilliant camera really works fantastically. Okay, there are a few limitations, for example, uh, I can't record. The recording is not so great, voice recording. So I figured out that, hey, I can use my smartphone to record. Right? And uh, wherever I am, my smartphone is doing the recording. That's brilliant, isn't it? So that's how I started. Blog and this is my second blog. So, which is better, blogging using WordPress or blogging using a camera and posting on YouTube? 